Hey there. Hello and welcome back to another video from Let's Talk by George. In today's video, we are going to boot the latest Citrus Moon Lineage 18.1. For that, um, as you have already know that I am coming back from MIUI 12.5.2 update, the Indian version update which I have uh, previously installed. If you wish to watch a review on it, definitely you can do that. I will post the link in the description below. So let's begin the flashing. So let me go to the micro SD card. Let me take the uh, ROM. So let me flash the ROM now. Since this is a vanilla version, we need to flash the GApps too. And I'm going to flash the latest um, Fury kernel too with this build. So let us wait till uh, the build finish flashing. You can see from the, the fingerprint itself which ROM I have used previously. I'm, I have used the Citrus Indian uh, version. So it's flashing. Yeah, here we are. Let me wipe the caches. And next thing that we are going to do is we are going to come back to here. Select the latest kernel. Here we are and let's flash the kernel now. Just finished flashing the kernel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flash the latest GApps. Okay, let me take the micro SD card. Here we are the GApps and I'm using the latest basic flame GApps for this particular build. So flashing GApps has been finished. Let me wipe the caches and go and um, flash the latest magisk. I mean, yeah. Well, I prefer to use 23.0 zip and I have the latest one with me. But if you want to use the latest one, definitely you can use that. There is nothing wrong with that. So here we are. It is flashing the 23.0 uh, magisk. Okay, fine. So it has finished flashing the magisk. So let me uh, reboot to system. I have wiped the caches and let me reboot to the system. Here we can see the splash screen. There we are. The boot animation appears. So we have finished uh, flashing the ROM. So this is the setup screen. I mean, since I'm using the flame GApps, we will have a setup wizard. So let me start it and select some things. Okay, let's go for setup offline and I will do the setup later because I don't want to uh, make you wait and stuff like that and see all the stupid um, formalities of signing in. Let me skip that one too. And yes, here we are. And let me show it to you. The build is pretty much smooth. I mean, I do really love this build. As you can see, it's smooth. Many thanks to Javasin for the ROM. As you can see, the app launching speed and stuff like that. And even we have the default call recorder with the with the dialer so as you can see sound and vibration we get the call recording option too so i do really love to use flame gapps basic with all version of vanilla rom so let me launch settings and stuff like that and let me see okay basically the rom is extremely smooth only fault with the rom is that it is not it doesn't pass safety net by default we have to use some magisk module and let me show it to you what all magisk modules that i use in a room okay so let me stop that i don't think that i need to take you through the entire user interface i mean we all know how the lineage looks like and as you can see the scrolling is pretty much smooth and it's really a nice build and you can take the xiaomi parts the build is included with the Xiaomi part. So what we are going to do now is we are going to flash some Magisk module. 
as i've told you that the build doesn't pass a safety net by default so what we really need to do is we need to flash some magisk module let's take this and install from storage and let's go for the sd card take the magisk module since i'm using 23.0 what i'm going to do is i'm going to flash the reroo first to pass the safety net then i'm going to flash the k dragon module okay right there we are so by flashing these two magisk modules and enabling the hide it will pass the magisk i mean it will pass the play store certification as you know that the build is really smooth and i do really enjoy um enjoy uh, the build and it's pretty much smooth if you want to flash it flash it you can definitely uh, flash the build and you can enjoy the smoothness well do i prefer lineage over carbon both the roms are really great and both the roms are really smooth and please make sure that you use the latest kernel along with the builds and as you can see that this build is equipped with camera go and flashing these two modules if you are using 23.0 magis version it will help you pass the safety net and if you want extra smoothness you can definitely try to flash the adreno drivers which is available in our group yeah this one adreno gpu drivers if you want to make the build extra smooth or super smooth you can do that one disadvantage that the build is having is we don't have the uh, we don't have the option to hide the um, hide the gesture pill bar I, I don't know yeah maybe that pill bar thing so for that what you can really do is you can really flash the full screen gesture setup thing so that uh, it will be high it will be hidden once you reboot the magisk and these all are the modules which I normally use with roms I even change the launcher to the oneplus port launcher okay so fine so that is these are the modules that i use on builds and i i mean you don't ne really need to use these graph these gpu driver module and stuff like that because the build is already super smooth so that's a review about lineage and i hope you have enjoyed the review um please make sure to subscribe to our channel so that you won't miss any further updates thank you